that dad created a context, a container, in which you could ask for what you need. You could be wrong. You Hi, could... I'm Jackie yeah. Lewis, and I'm the Senior Minister of Middle Collegiate Church, a multiracial, multi-everything church on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Yesterday in worship, we spoke together about the story of a loving father who has two sons. One of them is an act-up rebel, and the other one is a stingy, withholding, big brother, but the father loves them both. And we talked together about what it means to create a safe space, a container, if you will, in which we can love each other into our best selves. One of the things I'm noticing right now is people like Colin Kaepernick. He's inspiring athletes all over the country to resist a home that's not good enough, a home that's not safe enough for young, poor white people, poor black people, poor Latino people to be themselves, a home not good enough, not safe enough for Muslims and Sikhs to be able to move around the country safely. You know, there's this kind of rhetoric that maybe he's not patriotic, or maybe he's against the flag. I think he is, like my whole congregation, against a racist nation in which some people have so little, and some people have so much. A space in which black children and Latino children and poor white children don't really have a good enough home or container in which to grow into their best selves. Is it unpatriotic to kneel when the Pledge of Allegiance is being said or the national anthem is being sung? It's actually the patriotic thing to do, to expect and to work for a more perfect union. What do you think? In solidarity with Colin Kaepernick and athletes kneeling in response to the loss of too many black lives, our multiracial congregation, Middle Church, kneel both in protest and in an ancient form of prayer. We pray with one knee down, honoring the vulnerability we feel as a nation, and one knee raised, stepping forward to create the world we seek together. Across silos of race, religion, and class, we grieve, we organize, we act to create a world where black lives matter.